Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of m if we have m square and its whole square root divided by m is equals to 4. And we solve this problem for all the values of m. I hope so you like this video. We solve this problem for two methods and I hope so you like both of these two methods but if you have any other method in your mind, so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. Now we move towards the solution of first method and in the first method you see here this m is divided by left hand side we need to move this into the right hand side and it will become square root of m is equals to 4 times of m and further in the next step uh, we need to remove this square root sign and in order to remove this square root sign we need to take squaring on both of the sides so that when we take squaring it will be written as Square root of m and its whole square equals to 4 times of m and its whole square. And now you see here this 2 and this square root are gone and we will get here m square equals to here we need to apply this square separately on both of these two values and it will become 4 square multiplied by m square. And now here in the next step we have this is m square and this is 4 square becomes 16 and this is m square we move both of these two values from right hand side to the left hand side and it will becomes minus 16 m square is equals to 0 and now here in the next step you see here m square minus 16 times of m square is equals to minus 15 times of m square and this whole equation is equals to zero and further in the next step here our target is to get the values of m and for this we need to divide both of the sides by minus 15 so that uh, when we divide both of the sides by minus 15 it will be written as this is divided by minus 15 this is also divided by minus 15 and you see here this minus 15 is cancelled out by this minus 15 and we will get here m square equals to here you see that when we divide 0 with any other number it is always get a 0 answer so that here we get this is 0 so if we get m square is equals to 0 and now here uh, for the values of m we need to remove the square root sign so that's why we need to take a squaring on we need to take square root on both of the sides so that when we take square root this implies that this 2 and this square root are gone and we will get here m is equals to we know that square root of 0 becomes 0. So here we get only one root of the given equation and that is m is equals to 0. So uh, here in the next step we need to verify that is this value of m is satisfied over given question statement or not or in other words we just check that is this value of m be the solution or is this value of m be the extraneous root so for this we need to copy down given question statement here and we have square root of m square divided by m is equals to 4 so here uh, we need to verify m is equals to 0 so that we substitute m is equals to 0 into the left hand side and we check its behavior is this satisfied or not so when you put it here it will becomes square root of 0 square divided by 0 is equals to 4 and this implies that you know about that 0 square becomes 0 and square root of 0 is also becomes 0 so it will become 0 over 0 form equals to 4 and in the left hand side you see here this is 0 by 0 form and usually we will be called that it is the indeterminate form and if it is the indeterminate form we just say that it is undefined so if our left hand side is undefined this means that both of the sides are not equal so if both of the sides are not equal this concludes about that m equals to 0 is not satisfied our given question statement so if m equals to 0 is not satisfied it means that m equals to 0 be the extraneous root of the given equation okay this is the extraneous root and here we finally conclude about the solution set of this question is that 
we cannot get any value of m which is satisfied our given question statement so we call that this equation has no solution okay so this question has no solution in general which we get here from first method and now we again solve this problem for second method and in second method we need to copy down given question statement here the given question statement is square root of m square divided by m is equals to 4 and here uh, this is the very quick method and here we quickly get the values of m or we quickly uh, determine the solution set so here you see that this two and this square root are gone and we will get here m divided by m is equals to 4 and you see here this m is cancelled out by this m and you clearly see that we will get here 1 is equals to 4 and you know about that 1 equals to 4 is not possible case it is not possible that uh, 1 equals to 4 because generally these are not equal so if these are not equal it means that we cannot get any value of m which is satisfied our given question statement so this means that this question has no solution okay so this is the our final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos